In this video, I'm going to be looking at another important uh, control that you can use on your web page, and uh, this control is the. Let me get rid of this. One sec. This control is the panel web page, which uh, allows you to work with multiple um, controls at the same time. So. Uh, in order to demonstrate this, I would like to create two forms. And um, first of all, let's drag a uh, panel onto our web form. So now that we have a panel, we can add um, other controls inside the panel. So let me add a label, then a text box, and um, I would explain what I'm doing, give me a few minutes, the text box again. So now we had in everything inside the label, uh, sorry, inside the panel, and another text box as well. So now let's have the second panel inside the div tag, and um, this is the second panel. So in here, I'm going to add um, a drop down list so drop down list so the first panel uh, you can make sure you select the first panel or you can select it from here I'm going to set the name to form uh, uh, name name you can set a default button if you have a button so when you set a default button it means that uh, by pressing the enter key on your keyboard that button will be uh, executed will be fired so and um, I'm looking for the group text yeah the grouping text will be form and the other one the other panel the grouping text will be um, let's just call it uh, list list so okay as you can see now if we view our application now even though it's being born there's nothing in there uh, you can see that it has actually grouped it into two section which is very very nice so uh, this this will create the um, the legend you know what the legend is the legend and the field set tag if you go to the source view let's view the source uh, we can see that it's created the field field set tag HTML tag and it puts the legend as form and the same thing for the uh, other one the legend as list so uh, this is what the form so now if you want to the reason why I've included a um, drop down list is because I want to create um, Actually, instead of using a drop down list, let me use list item bullet list. Yeah, bullet list. So, I'm going to add in a bullet list to the panel. So, let me now write a code inside here, which happens when the page loads. So, when the page loads, I want the um, What is it? The bullet list one. Bullet list one. Dot. Items. Dot hard. Uh, item. Let's see. Item. Plus, then I use X. Oh, I'm sure you don't know what the X is. So I'll tell you what the X is. I'm going to have a for loop. If you don't know programming, for int X equals to zero. X less than 
or equals to 100 x plus plus what this is does is it loops through 0 to 100 so I'll put move my code into the here so what happened is um, from 0 to 100 I get let me show you what is going on let's hope there's no error um, so as you can see I get item 0 all the way to item 100 that's what the for loops because it goes through an item from 0 to 100 but as you can see this has actually caused our panel to go all the way down from the top so we have to scroll all the way down so the reason why I showed you that is because I want to enable the scrolling option of the panel so panel you can set the scroll bar to right now is on none so you can set it to either horizontal vertical both or auto uh, advisable I mean you advise to always use the auto because um, auto or both if you use the vertical or horizontal sometimes it doesn't work in other browsers except Internet Explorer so I always set it to auto so now that we set it to auto uh, let's try our um, application again by running it now we should have um, um, the scrolling enabled so no we still don't I think the reason why we don't is because you have to set uh, the width you have to set the width of your panel so that um, let's set the width to 200 uh, let's say width 200 pixel and height let's say 300 pixel so you see because we set the width and the height that means we have to let's set this onto 300 that means definitely it has to scroll because if you don't set the width and the height it will not scroll that's what I was trying to show you I didn't forget <laughs> you see so now that we so our page doesn't have to you know scroll it longer anymore because now if we actually let me reduce um, so that we d I don't want to scroll on the page at all so let's set the uh, height to 250 so that we don't scroll on our page at all if I set the height to 250 pixels now if we run it you can see that the panel um, it's, you can see that we don't have to scroll on our page anymore we don't need any scrolling we can only scroll through this panel so um, it is advised that uh, the reason the the best functionality I mean the reason why you want to use a panel is to group your controls together as you can see we have grouped this three con and six controls together into one logical because now if we give this panel a background color let me show you uh, let's say back color back color let's give it a dark color you can see that uh, uh, our application is it's more beautiful now as you can see so we've grouped this one into uh, one group so that's the use of the panel and also because you can uh, you can disable a panel by itself you can say uh, if you set the visible to false so that means all those control we won't be able to see them when we run so let's let's look at what that does so as you can see now um, uh, hold on a sec I don't know why it's taking time come on now it's taking long it's not responding <laughs> this is um, this is not funny come on as you can see the, it, it has disappeared so uh, that's one of the functionalities so if sometimes you want to uh, make visible con some controls when certain, some uh, conditions are true so that's why you can use a panel to group the other controls and you can work with those controls uh, at the same time so that's the function of the uh, panel thank you